Do you sit too much? Well, if you do, this stretching routine is for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Train Enable. This is where we help non-gym goers become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. I like to give a special shout out to all my California Department of Healthcare Services folks, especially my TPLRD people, this is for you. So a lot of us are working from home today and that means that we're doing a lot more sitting than we're used to, or maybe we are used to it, but with that comes a lot of tightness in the hips, glutes, and low back. So I'm gonna guide you through a whole routine to kind of alleviate that that you can do on your breaks from work. So when we sit, right, we're spending a lot of time on our butt, right, and our hip is closed. So if you think of standing straight up as open, seated, we kind of solidify that hip joint. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to see how tight I am, good Lord. You're gonna put one foot over the other knee and you're gonna try and keep that back nice and straight and you're gonna lean in over the top of your body, right? So we're gonna be here for a minute. If you are doing this correctly, which I know most of you can probably cross your legs, no problem, you're going to feel that stretch on the outer glute. Right now, we're not trying to force anything, we're just trying to sit nice and calm. If you can uh, take some deep breaths, that's going to be very useful because we already passed the halfway point here. So again, we're trying to avoid this slumping down of the back. We're being real upright, leaning in with that full torso. We got another 10 seconds. Great job, everybody. I like this one because you don't even have to get out of your seat in order to get a good stretch. Cool, so go ahead and gently let that leg come down. We're gonna switch to the other side. So again, heel comes over that knee. You're gonna try and lean in with that full torso. If you want a little extra credit, you can push that knee down and that'll intensify that stretch on that glute. It's not uncommon to find that one side is tighter than the other. So this is probably my good side, unfortunately. As you can tell, we all need a little bit extra love here and there when it comes to the stretch. You already got another 15 seconds or so left. Hopefully you guys are all staying sane, working from home. Stretching is a great way to just kind of break up the work, make sure that you stay moving and mobile. Go ahead and let that guy down. So I call that the seated pigeon stretch. I'm sure it has a more official name, but if you're ever wondering, that's what that's called. Cool, so that's stretch number one. Kind of get into that outer glute. Stretch number two, we're gonna get into the front of that hip. So I'm sitting here on my couch, but you can also do this against a chair or a wall. And we're gonna go into what's called the couch stretch. So if you wanna grab a blanket or a pillow for your knee, you can put it down on the ground. Cause what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get my knee as close to that wall or couch as possible, kind of propping that back foot up there. I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheek on this side so the hip comes forward and I should feel a good stretch to the front of the hip all the way down the front of my leg or my quad, okay? We are here for another 45 seconds. So if I wanna get a little extra credit, what I can do is reach up on that same side you kind of lean to either side. As you feel more and more comfortable in the position, you can scoot that knee back. Okay. We're here for another 15 seconds. Really focus on kind of keeping your belly squeezed like somebody's about to punch you in the stomach. Cool, so I started on the right leg so I'm gonna ease on out of here. I'm gonna move the pillow out of the way. Then I'm gonna stay on that right leg, but now we're gonna do the pigeon pose on the ground. So I'm gonna try and send that foot to the opposite hip. And I'm gonna come down, kind of searching around with that back leg right where the angle is to see where I can feel those sensations on the outer glute again. 
we're here for a minute. I shouldn't be feeling any sensation in my knee. And if that's the case, I'll just adjust how much it's bent, right? Or the position of my torso can also play a role in that. If you feel fairly settled in, what you can do is just come down to the forearms and relax. We're only here for another 30 seconds. I'm not really sure why they call this the pigeon pose. It doesn't resemble a bird to me at all, but it is a great stretch. Very easy to just settle in and relax. This is some much needed stretching for myself as well. Here for another 15 seconds. So if you're laying on the floor on those forearms, come back up. We're gonna ease on out of there. Grab your pillow again, cause we're coming back to the couch stretch. But this time we're gonna go on the opposite side. So I started on my right, so I'm going back to my left, trying to get that knee close to the couch. Torso is gonna go upright, squeezing that butt cheek on that side. Again, I'm feeling that stretch through the front of the hip, down into the middle of the quad. If you want extra credit again, you can lift that arm up, kind of lean to the side, make sure that belly is nice and tight. If you're doing this against a wall, uh, make sure that you don't have shoes on. You don't want to scuff up your nice wall inside your house. We're already halfway through this stretch. Cleverly named stretch, right? Couch stretch done against the couch. This is the most comfortable for me because the padding feels good on the top of my foot. Okay, so let's go ahead, ease on out of there. Again, you're gonna ditch the pillow. We won't need it anymore today. We're gonna go back to that pigeon pose, but this time on the opposite leg. This time I encourage you to kind of play more with the angle of your torso compared to where your leg is. Again, you should be feeling the sensation on the outer glute, not in the knee joint. And if you are feeling that, you'll just change how bent that front knee is. We're already here for another 30 seconds. It goes quick. And if this is too fast paced for you, you can always pause the video or you can hang out in the stretch for longer or shorter, whatever meets your needs. I just wanted to make sure that I was at least with you guys for part of the time. Thanks for joining me, appreciate you. All right, go ahead and ease on out of that. So we spent some time getting the glutes, getting the hips, a little bit of the quads, but I would say for me primarily, where I feel a lot of sitting is in my low back. So we're gonna round out the day laying on our backs and we're gonna get into what they call the supine twist. If you've done some yoga stuff, you might be a little familiar with this. So you're gonna start by lying on the ground. You're gonna pull one knee into the chest real gentle, and then you're gonna drop that knee to the opposite side, right? I have my hand on top of my knee and my other arm is kind of outreached to help keep those shoulders on the ground. So I'm getting a big twist through that spine and the bigger breaths I take, I can feel more space being created in that spine through that twist. If you don't look like me, that's fine. If you look better than me, that's also fine. Everybody's built a little different, so you might be in a little different spot. But we're only here for another 30 seconds. Nice and short routine today. Some that you can easily do on your little breaks from work. If you're still in the office, this might be a little hard to do or your coworkers might look at you funny because you're laying on the ground, but it is what it is. So gently come back to center with that knee. Let the knee back out. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna need to scoot away from my couch a little bit. So bring that knee in to the chest, drop it to the side, arm goes out. 
If you're really tight like I am, you might even still feel some sensations on that outer glute, but mostly we should be feeling this through the mid to low back. Again, getting some real good breathing in. You're here for another 30 seconds. And then that's gonna be it for today, y'all. Done a good job. Stretching isn't the sexiest thing when it comes to exercise, but very much needed, very undervalued. Last 10 seconds here. So I'll go ahead and bring that knee back into the chest. Gently let that knee out. And you can hang out, laying down, and just kind of relaxing for a second. But if you got things to do, got work to get back to, go ahead and sit on up. That's gonna conclude our little guided stretching for all my California Department of Healthcare Services folks. Thanks for tuning in, especially my TPLRD guys. Um, if you want some actual home workouts to do, there's no need for equipment, and I'll link that here, and you can kind of see a quick playlist there. I'll also link the description in the description down here. My Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page is all going to be in the description as well. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great weekend, y'all.